Aww, animals. Save the rhinos. The death of the last male northern white rhino may mean probable extinction for the subspecies, but scientists are working on a plan to save them. Sudan, the world's last male northern white rhino, died in Kenya on Monday, leaving only two females, neither of which have been able to carry a pregnancy to term. The best plan to carry on the species is through in vitro fertilization, using eggs extracted from the surviving females and stored sperm from dead males. The fertilized egg would be implanted in a surrogate southern white rhino, the species' closest living relative, which would carry the calf to term. If successful, scientists hope to use the procedure to create a herd of 5 to 15 rhinos that would eventually be returned to their natural habitat. With the IVF method costing as much as 9 million US dollars, conservationists hope to raise enough money and implement it before it's too late. Stay tuned to see what else is going extinct. Chocolate is about to say goodbye to the world. If you're a fan of chocolate, you better start hoarding it now because it may be joining the dinosaurs in just a few decades. Scientists say chocolate is in danger of disappearing by 2050 due to warmer and drier conditions from global warming. Cacao can only be grown within a narrow strip of rainforested land about 20 degrees north and south of the equator, where the temperature, rain and humidity are relatively constant year-round. Over half of the world's chocolate comes from two African countries, Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana. However, rising temperatures over the next decades will make those regions unsuitable for cacao. Researchers from the University of California are now working with the Mars Company to save the cacao plant from disappearing. Berkeley scientists hope to modify cacao DNA using CRISPR technology to develop plants that won't wilt or rot at the current elevations under warmer conditions. No, but really. Life without chocolate? Are bees going extinct? Reports show high rate of U.S. bee deaths. Annual surveys have shown a trend in bee deaths in America. The Bee Informed Partnership has released its annual survey of the national health of bees in America, and yet again, the number of colonies is shrinking. The Bee Informed Partnership collected data from 5,700 beekeepers across 48 states for its annual survey, and found that from April 2015 to April 2016, American beekeepers have lost 44% of their hives. Losses in summer 2015, a season bees are known to thrive in, increased to 28.1% of hives, the same rate of loss for winter the same year. A culprit in the bee losses is the vera mite, a lethal parasite that can easily spread between colonies. Pesticides and malnutrition caused by single flower farms near hives are also likely taking a toll, especially among commercial beekeepers. Bees pollinate fruit, nuts, and vegetables with some crops entirely dependent on honeybees. Around the world, bees and other pollinators are responsible for 35% of crops, worth an incredible $577 billion. The White House reported that honeybees contribute more than $15 billion to the U.S. economy annually. Giraffes face extinction in Africa. The authors of a new report published on Thursday warn that the world's tallest land mammal, which was once thought to be abundant in numbers, is in danger of extinction. According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, the number of giraffes in the wild has declined by about 40% in the last three decades. Giraffes are mostly found in southern and eastern Africa, with smaller populations in west and central Africa. In 1985, there were approximately 163,000 giraffes in the wild, but that number now stands at around 97,000. However, of the nine giraffe subspecies, three are increasing in number and one is stable. The five other subspecies are decreasing in population size. The biggest threats to giraffe survival are the encroachment of humans, poaching, and destruction of their habitat by economic activities such as mining and war. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature monitors endangered species on its red list. The organization now classifies giraffes as vulnerable, meaning the species faces a high risk of extinction in the wild. Researchers say intelligent alien life existed but might be extinct. In a search to find intelligent alien life, researchers have revised astronomer Frank Drake's 1961 proposal, which is now known as the Drake Equation. 
and have found that extraterrestrial civilizations may have lived before our time. The equation is used to estimate the number of alien civilizations with the means to communicate in the Milky Way galaxy. The equation factors in a number of super scientific things like the average rate of star formation in our galaxy, and the number of planets that have the potential to sustain civilized life as we know it. Oh yeah, again, it emphasizes those that can communicate. A new paper released in Astrobiology suggests a way to simplify the equation by taking in new information discovered by NASA's Kepler telescope. Kepler has, since the 1990s, discovered a number of exoplanets or planets that are similar to Earth. According to the study, alien life was plentiful, but is now most likely extinct. And other aliens probably won't evolve until we are long gone, so perhaps we really are alone. 